cool gadgets. You guys ever see a product and think, man, I wish I'd thought of that? Yes. The Floby. The Floby. <laughs> <laughs> we have some people who actually sure. came up with Thank great you. gadgets. Three gentlemen right here, and we're going to tell you what makes a good invention and what makes a bad invention. They're hoping to get very, very rich with those. Well, we'll meet them in just a little while, but first, let's re uh, meet another genius, Russ Mitchell, who's standing by at the news desk. Good morning to you, Russ. I actually invented the Floby, Dave. I'm sorry. <laughs> really? Back I in the did. day. I did, exactly. I have you to thank, even today. There you go. Good morning, guys, and good morning to you at home. Coming up next, we'll meet three aspiring inventors and the gizmos that might change their lives and yours. We'll be right back. them and you love them, admit it. TV infomercials are a $20 billion industry known for selling people products that they never knew they needed. To find the origin of all these gadgets and gizmos, we went to a convention for aspiring inventors. Cell phone, iPod, Bluetooth, portable GPS, sky caddy. For any gadget you want to fire up, Terrence Somerville says you'll need his solar battery charger. What the retail price be? The retail price for this? It could be $19.95. $19.95? Plus shipping and handling. Somerville is one of 74 inventors who came from 65 cities to present their gadgets and gizmos before a panel of judges at Telebrand's Inventors Fair. The head judge is A.J. Kuvani. Introducing Shoes Under. Petty Paws is the new, the force behind as seen on TV products. You need the windshield wonder. Like the windshield wonder and the pet egg, that at-home pedicure kit that sold over 30 million units. Kuvani says the formula for as seen on TV products is simple. It's got to be solve a common problem. It's got to be mass appeal. It's got to demonstrate well on TV. It's got to be something that we can retail for ten to twenty dollars. You pull out the top rack. Some made the grade, like this device, eliminating water-filled cups in the dishwasher. I think we have an interest, all three of us, right? Yeah. We also have uh, reflective tape. They can work your adductors. And Some inventions fell a bit flat. For the hips and butt. I, I, have, I have a pretty good idea of what works on TV and what doesn't. And I'm just going to say my opinion is that this is not going to sell on TV. You're sitting in a bus stop. Though for many, this is just in the beginning. We've got a thumbs down here, but you know, we talked to a lot of inventors while we've been here today. And, and uh, we still feel like we might have something to put on the market. That's everybody's hope. Joining us now, AJ Kubani, CEO and founder of Telebrands. And we also have three inventors who are hoping to make the cut with us as well. Good morning. What's your name? My name is David Slock. David, good to meet you. What's David. your product? My product is called the Easy Shopper. It's a complete shopping system that fits in your pocket. It removes the problem of having shopping bags cutting into your hands, whether it be the twine handled or the plastic bags. It enables you to carry as many as 12 shopping bags, six on each shoulder, without using your hands. The Easy Shopper has an easy snap-on strap that enables you to carry the bags hands-free to make it easier to open oh, your car so door. so multiple bags at once <laughs> right. with this strap. And the strap snaps on. I was going to do yeah, that as a sorry. demonstration how it swicks on here. And it can fit over your shoulder. If you look, grab the handle, oh. reach through, grab the handle. Oh, yeah. And we just that. put this over your shoulder, and then you then let it down. All right, AJ. Weigh in on this one. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Bad about well, this product. I tell you, I really like this product. I'll Truly tell you why. Heavy. Because everybody, almost everybody shops, right? So it's a common problem. That's the one thing we look for, a common problem. And this is a simple solution. It's mass appeal. Again, almost everybody's in the market for it. And it's a, it's a problem that everyone can identify with because when you do pick up bags, you usually get a, yeah. a red line and they and That's really heavy. the key to a good invention, something that everybody can identify That's with. That's it. And, and it's, it's got to have that aha moment, like, why didn't I think huh. of that? It's yeah. so simple. All right, thank you. Great product. Thank you very and much. And because we're tight on time, thank we're going to keep scooting along here. What's your name? Jim Bonner. Jim, good to meet you. What's your nice product? You. My product is a hang glider. What it does, it eliminates stretching of necks. Hangers like this, you got to go up to the bottom right. or force the mm -hmm. hanger to the neck opening, which stretches the elastic. My hanger. And it's adjustable. Well, my hanger just gives a quick pull mm -hmm. and it comes right out. All right. Before we go to AJ on this one, let's just talk about our last invention, then we'll ask AJ his opinion. How you doing? Uh, how you doing, sir? <laughs> What's your name? It's Ron Somerville. What's your invention? Uh, it's called the Solarville Solar Battery Charger. Okay. And with this invention, you can charge many things such as uh, iPods, Bluetooth, various cell phones, and other All small right. electronic devices.
devices. All right. It's amazing all the stuff you don't think you need. Yeah, exactly right. You you and want. these both have mass appeal, which are a good invention, but I'm sure you see plenty of bad ones, too. Uh, I see lots of bad ones, but this, this happens to be a great one. All right. Thank uh, you so much to all of you. Have a great day, everybody.